Hey guys, and welcome back to Drop the Mic. Y'all know what to do. As y'all slide in that door, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Y'all got me on the way to 6K. All right, we only like, what? Seven people away, I believe, from 6K. So y'all get me there. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit, turn that notification bell on. When you hit subscribe, you just hit subscribe to all. And guess what? y'all be in there so every time i put a video out um or any kind of post you will get a notification or if we go live like in the case of with the gossip girls in any event y'all know what to do let's go ahead and get started with this weekend or actually this week's uh version of the young and the reckless okay <laughs> y'all it's so much to talk about let's start off talking about this week's ratings right so basically uh the ratings y'all know has been very much up and down up and down um based on the shenanigans and the drama that was happening on and around this show um in regards to uh the Mel and Martell situation just just the misogyny on the show the way the men treat the women the women being pick me's um you know it's definitely ugh, they're not representations of strong black women at all because clearly they feel like they can't move on without men um and I feel like the one that did say you won't treat me this way I am worth more and the one that did move on is being punished low-key by the misogynistic men in production and on the cast um because I really feel like the reason why their ratings are low and it's people that just can't stomach watching this show is because most of the people that watch this show are strong independent black women that yes have been through some stuff and they have definitely been through some stuff with ex-boyfriends ex-husbands you know current husbands current boyfriends and <clears throat> I think that they won't the propensity to watch this show is mostly black women that have been through some things but when they see that we are the ones that are being for lack of a better word abused or exploited because anytime well I'm just gonna let me let me just digress real quick because I'm gonna come back to what I was just about to say so this week it was 281,000 viewers okay this is season six episode five Last week, it was 232,000 viewers, and that was a season low, all right? Y'all, the season high for this year was 353,000 viewers. Now, again, just like I said in my previous videos, y'all know that this show was, the, was, I'm not sure if it is anymore, was the number one show on the OWN Network, scripted or unscripted. But when it was number one or, you know, it was getting five over 500,000 viewers each episode. Y'all, that's not happening anymore. It's like they've lost half of their viewership. And we've been trying to figure out, you know, why. Um, You know, it's a lot of reasons, but it's like the shenanigans continue to happen. What I can tell you is under no circumstances will they have a large viewership if to me what they're trying to do works to me it appears to be an orchestrated attack on the number one person on the show which is Mel Cherie by her ugly stupid dumb little bill looking ex-husband and the people that he has surrounding him that actually co-sign his shenanigans and his bullshit and you could tell the people that co-sign it let's start with carlos he went on a interview tour with this weird doe last week or the week before who i've never seen a producer go i haven't go on a interview tour and basically hold the hand of the quote-unquote villain of the show all right like the worst person because the stuff that he does behind the scenes to and, and the lies that this man tells there's no way it should be coddled the the way he behaves there's no way he should be coddled yet he is still coddled 
And then let's move on to the fact that um, we have mothers on the show that are ghetto, lowbrow, ignorant. And if y'all need me to name them, I will. The first mother that we haven't seen this year. All right. And I'm going to get around to that in a little bit. Um, actually, let me start with uh, the California Raisin. That would be um, Betty. All right. Betty is one of the most ignorant ass mothers and the stuff that she says and is saying is so whack and that's Stormy's mother um just a ghetto low brow low vibrational mother with no class that wants to argue with somebody two times younger than her so yeah the audience don't want to see that shit no more because we had another mother that was low brow low vibrational and, and a scum bucket and that was wanda who was Letitia's mother again arguing with somebody two times younger than her actually trying to physically fight somebody two times younger than her and again this is the type of mother that to me Carlos is promoting on the show and here's the reason why I say that y'all I've been paying close attention Miss Van who is the epitome of class all right who everybody really wants to see she's the mother that we all wish that we had not them ghetto ass tricks that uh Carlos keeps showing but Miss Van Mama Van Melody's mother that's the mother that we all wish that we had right she was supposed to make her season debut on the 100th episode no miss van last week she was supposed to, first of all she should have been seen way more than she was i think we've seen 30 seconds her in a little clip in a hallway right because she was at her granddaughter's party and she was filming and <clears throat> Melody says she knew for a fact that her mom was filming and that had filmed a couple of scenes, but she's still cut out. So, of course, we're thinking, and this is all my opinion and alleged, that the reason why they're cutting out Mama Van's parts is because they did, because we, we, no one wanted to see ghetto ass scum bucket Wanda. Or maybe I should call her cum bucket. Anywho, <laughs> I'm going to digress on that. But no one wanted to see her. No one wanted to see her nasty attitude. No one wanted to see her being jealous and talking about this woman that is the star of the show that's two times younger than her. So because of that, it's like they're trying to punish the fans by not showing Miss Van. But we see you. We see each other. Okay, we see each other. All right. So stop playing with us with that with that situation. We already know what the deal is. Mel pointed it out, but the Melameters have already um, peeped game. So my thing is, I don't know how far they think they're going to get with that. We don't want to see Wanda. We don't give a shit how much you try to like, oh, we're going to punish you by not putting Miss Van, Mama Van on the, on the screen. Okay. It, you're sabotaging your own show like it's so stupid to to play these games behind the scenes that's like again but then you come on your instagram and all these other things talking about god and this that, and the other that shit ain't god like what 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 uh carlos is doing what the rest of the cast is doing it's not anywho y'all so the ratings still are abysmal okay um and you know i'm just going to continue to keep my eye on them week after week after week all right so we're going to move on to the next thing on the docket all right y'all so next on the agenda <clears throat> we're going to talk a little bit about the about mel sheree about my opinion on what she has on her plate as far as making some huge decisions and also about how big mouth uncle Wanda really threw a lot of hints early on before the season started about some things that were going to occur which in my opinion and allegedly leads me to believe that there was an orchestrated plan that was happening behind the scenes that the haters of Mel Cherie and her mom were very much aware of because she can't hold water. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and say what I think and then I'm gonna read what Mel Cherie put in her stories. So here's the bottom line. Wanda came on YouTube and when she came on YouTube, she did a lot of running of her mouth. Even so much so that one time Dusty had to call her while she was live and tell her she was talking too much. She was giving up the goods, right? One of the things that she said on one of her many ghetto lives was that we might not see much of her, but there's somebody else we ain't going to see much of either. And she hinted to and alluded to the fact that we weren't going to see much of Mama Van this season. Now, I find that interesting being that Mama Van had a contract, a signed contract with the production company to film. I don't know what Wanda has, but I'm assuming that she may not have had that same contract or that they were trying to quote unquote placate to the masses by saying they weren't going to do a lot of filming of her because there was a petition to get her off the show after she showed her ass at Madani trying to fight somebody her daughter age younger than her daughter actually younger than her daughter actually so I think one of the things that's happening is now we are five episodes in five close to six episodes in to love and marriage Huntsville season and we only seen a little tiny glimpse of mama van through a door standing in a almost like a hallway coming into the roller rink and it was actually a scene that wasn't supposed to be filmed because Mel asked them to cut the cameras for that so we only see a little glimpse of her and that's because they pro they couldn't get her out the scene other than that you would have thought that the grandma didn't even attend the party. Now, mind you, this is a woman with a signed contract, a signed contract to appear on the show. All right. And even Mel, she made a comment. And in her comment, she said that she knows that her mother was filming. She says, why are all my mother's scenes cut out? Because I definitely know. She was standing next to Malia when we sang happy birthday. And she was also very present in the BS outside of the rink. Like y'all really didn't even show my other daughter. So Mel ain't playing with these hoes. All right. And she also put a co another comment out there that let it be known that if her mother wasn't going to be shown, nobody's mother was going to be shown and guess what I do not blame her for that I do not blame her for that all right because when it's all said and done like what's that all about this woman is beloved people want to see her people want to see this mother but y'all gonna like not show her because y'all because no one wants to see Uncle Wanda nah that 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 ain't cool so for real for real <clears throat> i really think that why would she say that what would be uncle wanda's reasoning for saying it's somebody else y'all not gonna see too how would anybody have known that unless it was being discussed behind the scenes all y'all gotta do is pay attention to what wanda was saying over the like when she came to YouTube, pay attention to what she was saying and the names she was mentioning. You'll be able to see exactly what was going to unfold or what's unfolding and exactly who the operatives are. Because one thing she don't do, she don't remember names. But if she roll your name off of her tongue like that, that means that you're intricately involved with her, with her family, and with whatever they was planning behind the scenes, along with the puppet master. My opinion, all alleged, and it's in my opinion. It's my thoughts. That's what I really think the deal is. She gonna tell. If nobody else gonna tell, she gonna tell. So with that being said, Again, they playing games. 
with production. They play in games with the person that is bringing in the numbers, the person that really everybody watches the show to see. OK, and I can guarantee that if they tried to if she left, I really don't think this show would last. I, I'm almost positive of it. Now, they always say one monkey don't stop no show. But I believe that, yes, <laughs> one monkey would stop this show. I do believe that. I just do. That's my opinion. So, y'all, I think that Mel is thinking long and hard. I think she's watching how things are playing out. I think that she is heavy with her decision of what she's going to do in regards to this show in regards to continuing to move forward with this show. And I think that's evidenced by the two, um, the comment that she left on her stories. So peep this. Mel said, I am feeling super emotional this morning. I have so many decisions to make and I'm not going to lie. My heart is heavy. One thing I know how to do though is trust God. This morning, he reassured me that whatever I decide, whatever I put my hands to, it shall be blessed. It looked I looked at my Shopify like I do every morning, but today I decided to check the sales for the month. Even though we are only a week in, I was reminded that I dissolved and restarted this skincare line. That God wanted it so that no one was a part of this who he didn't want to be a part of this. This is legacy. This is black excellence. I hear you loud and clear, God, and thank you for the confirmation. Y'all don't ever stop trusting God. And she showed that up until that day, which I believe was the 7th or the 8th of May, she had made $32,000 in sales. All right? Period on period. So what she said is, no matter what she decides to do, no matter what venture it is that she takes on, she's going to be blessed regardless of whether she sticks with this mess or whether she decides to walk from this mess. She knows that she trusts God and she trusts God to have her back. So with that being said, y'all, they will never stop because this woman has that it factor. They're always going to be jealous of her. There's always going to be some underlying weirdness that happens as long as Carlos King is at the helm of this situation. He's weird. He does little weird puppet master puppeteer stuff behind the scenes. It's been proven. Everyone says that he does this. This is his reputation. I'm not making this up. This is his reputation that he's gotten from his years of working on reality shows. They say that he's like a puppet master and he does little sneaky underhanded stuff behind the scenes. So Listen, you can't tell me that all of these things that's occurring are occurring just by happenstance. They're occurring because you got somebody that are that's encouraging it to occur. Anytime the own unscripted page. Now, mind you, this is the own network unscripted page on Twitter. Is big up in Martel for busting his daughter's party and actually making a joke out of it saying call the popo call the popo he, he don't care he he ha ha it's funny even mel said that issue is not funny at all then they put out some weird poll and on the poll they basically were asking is melody keeping martel away from his kids or is martel right or wrong or whatever the question that they asked that to me it was completely inappropriate because how in the world can she keep him away from his kids when he have them the exact amount of time that she has them 50% it's a custody order she has them 50% of the time he has them 50% of the time so how is she keeping him away from his kids so now you want to control your 50% of the time and hers nigga go jump off a cliff how you gonna control when she has the kids too? get a life Go get a job during that time. Go work somewhere and, 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 and make some money that you where you could take care of your kids. Go pass that builder's exam that that 50 percent of the time when they're with their mother. Stop trying to control 
that time and your time. You have the kids the exact same amount of time that she does. So no, she's not keeping the kids away from you. It's some weird narrative that that he's trying to spin and that they're attempting to help him spin. Like it's weird. So anyway, I know that when God says go, Mel is going to go. I know that. But something in my spirit is telling me that they might be coming to the end of the road with this gravy train. All of them. So I hope that they eat well because I think the last stop might be coming up real soon. (laughs) My opinion. That's what I'm thinking. Seriously. So y'all, we going to move on to the final subject and then I'm going to get y'all thoughts. Okay, so I'm going to hear what he's saying about that. Okay, this one. Hold on, y'all. Let me see which one it is. I got so many on here. Let's see which one this one is. Yeah, here it is. This is 485. This is where where Stormy. This is 485 production. Now, this is the last area where Stormy said she had her uh, camera beauty. So let's walk down here. I got my photographer with me. We're going to see. She's supposed to be in suite number five. Now, when she's delivering packages, that's what's on her package, suite number five. Let's see. Now, this is uh, Production Avenue. Look over there. Get the feel over there. As you can see, this is a rural area. We're in Madison, Alabama. So we're looking for Candace View. What's that challenge in defense? Number five. I thought it was empty, y'all. I thought. Hey, yo, yo, what, what, what y'all doing here? We're just looking for you guys. I'm, I'm part of the. Uh, no, no, I don't, y'all don't need to be recording over here. Nothing. Okay, so you guys yeah, were on. Yeah, you guys are. Uh, you guys no, are. I'm public. not calling the police. If you guys are. Yeah, definitely gonna call the police. Y'all bitches yeah. weird as fuck. Y'all, y'all YouTube hoes weird as fuck. Weird as fuck. Yeah, y'all shouldn't be coming out. Ain't nobody, here. no hoe. It ain't weird. Right, that's okay. I'm gonna just call the police. Call the police? No, 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 no. We ain't getting nothing. I guess you're not. You can't be doing that. We caught it right there. We walked down through the building. I'm we walked down through the building. That's okay. Let's go. Let's go. We walked down through the building. Ain't nothing. Let's go. 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 Hey, we recording the whole building, man. What? For what? Shit. You, 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 Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Y'all see Shay not having that. Okay. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Hey, ain't nobody said we can't record no building. Yeah, this is your business. We just walking down recording the building. Taking the name. I ain't got no name up on that building. Put a name up on the building. Then we won't record you. I need for Put a name up there. Put a name up there. So guys, the last thing that I want to tackle is the stuff, of course, that happened with Stormy and Black Titanic, our beloved Black Titanic, um, this past week. So y'all got to see that what i just showed you right so as you can see black titanic never made it never made it up to the door she was in the parking lot the entire time her and miss shay was filming okay and you you can see they were in the parking lot she never got a chance to say exactly what she came for or anything before she was approached by that looks like that was Courtney that approached her. 
And then, of course, you got Psycho was yelling in the background at these two elderly women because they were in the quote unquote parking lot. It's given you got something to hide. That was weird. Like, <laughs> who gets that upset for somebody being in a parking lot? That was so strange. So I wanted to show y'all that because, of course, Stormy came out with a quote unquote PR statement. It's a little bit too late for a PR statement at this point, Stormy. You done fucked up. You done fucked up bad. You should have got your publicity. Pub publicist person or your public PR person before you showed your ass to two elderly women for being in a public parking lot that part so she comes out with we would like to remind the community and value customers that our warehouse is not open to the public Today, a particular vlogger, vlogger known to Canvas Beauty attempted to enter our warehouse location and film their experience for their YouTube channel. Okay, when did she ever try to come in? Because again, what I just showed y'all, she was in the parking lot. This vlogger has made numerous defamatory videos with false statements Show me one. Show me one video with a false statement. One video with a false statement. And trespass multiple previous properties of Canvas. Please show me one time she trespassed. Did y'all call the cops? Where's the trespassing charge? Lies. All lies. This is why people don't like you, Stormy. You're a liar. I just want to see one piece of proof one piece of proof that she made a video and lied or that she trespassed on any previous properties Ooh, child then she goes to the extent where we have received warnings about this individual for multiple previous neighbors and landlords okay again can you show the warnings can you show the previous landlords if you're still on good terms with them? Because from what I hear, y'all don't pay rent, allegedly. Um, but show me some proof of all of these statements that you're making. Because I don't think you got one piece of proof. I think these are all lies. All lies, in my opinion. Again, lying for no reason. Show me one piece of proof with any of these accusations. See, that's the difference to me and the YouTubers slash video bloggers slash vloggers, whatever you want to call us, is that ain't nobody coming out here with no straight lies, okay? That $1.7 million lawsuit from Apex that you said brown skin was lying about, show me where the lie is with that. Where's the lie? And if it is a lie, how come you haven't taken it up with Madison County Courthouse? Because it ain't a lie. You're a liar. You are a liar. A disgusting liar. Let me go on with this stupid ass letter. While we as a founder and creator brand always support creators bullshit because you was you went to the car and cried. You cried when you got in the car. Okay, Craig, you cried when you got in the car. With all perspectives and freedom of speech, I can't tell. She was in a free parking lot with a public parking lot, hadn't even made it to the door yet. Where's her freedom of speech? The way you cussed that lady? Child, please. Child, again. And if it was a white woman, I wonder if those words would have been as harsh. I wonder if you would have said anything. Faking ass bitch. This type of behavior will not be tolerated and police will be called on any trespassers. Well, put some signs up, bitch. Put some no trespassing signs up. And I can guarantee you that you still can't stop people from being in a parking lot and from recording your location. I can guarantee it. As a matter of fact, I think you'll make your shit even worse. You might want to pack up and move locations again. Because it's given that y'all doing something underhanded up in there the way y'all was acting. And with them raggedy ass mutts uh, sniffing around with <laughs> like uh, <laughs> I call it with necklaces on their neck. Okay. Like for real. Anywho. 
including those entering our private parking lot and or disturbing our neighboring companies. Okay, again, show me where the parking lot is private. Show me where the parking lot is private. And if somebody wanted to go talk to a neighboring company, how can you stop them? Stormy, go sit on a fat one and rotate. Rotate 360 degrees because you're an idiot. Or whoever wrote this is an idiot. You can't stop people from coming to a public place. You can stop people from coming inside your warehouse. Period. That's all you can do. You can't stop somebody from being in a parking lot. If I was Miss Black Titanic, I would get a lawn chair and sit my ass out there and right there in the parking lot and record your ass from sunup to sundown just to fuck with you. What could you do about it? Oh, gosh, I'm calling the police because she's recording me. Call them, ho. Like Miss Shay said, call the popo, ho. You going to walk over here, but you going to limp back, Miss Shit Talker. As a family business, it is also paramount for us to protect our incredible staff and ensure their safety. Girl, bye. Especially in a warehouse environment. Ensure their safety with you behaving and acting the way you acted. That's ensuring their safety. Actually, you made yourself a mark. You made yourself a mark. So how safe were you making your staff acting a fool, screaming and hollering at a woman in her 80s, thinking that people ain't going to want to come after your ass and whoop your ass? Now, I don't know what your husband did because I watched the video over and over again and tried to see if his big lurch looking ass got disrespectful. However, I didn't see no disrespect. I did not see no disrespect from him. All I seen was him say, you can't you can't film here. You can't do that and asking questions. I never seen him get to the level of disrespect that your bitch ass did, Stormy. I didn't. But you girl you got a whole mark on your back now and it's hilarious to me and i'm talking about just from what i'm watching and seeing in the comments yeah they looking for you <laughs> Ooh, child. Mm -hmm. shit as always you are welcome to shop our products at canvasbeautybrand.com or our 7500 retail locations nationwide girl all I can say is this, shop that online thing at your own, <laughs> beware, beware, be cautionary because I heard that you buy stuff and you don't get your products because she repurposing that money, allegedly. She's repurposing it to fill up the Target and the Walmart stores. She ain't sending people their products. That's, that's the word on the curb, okay? That's allegedly and in my opinion. How about that? But yeah, so this whole little PR statement was a lie. Because that lady never even came nowhere near the door. Okay, they met her outside on the sidewalk, as I just showed y'all in that video. And just for GP, because I want y'all to see who y'all messing with. First off, she put another little thing out there. I'm going to put this up here for a couple seconds because, you know, she, again, she, you know, is trying to get people to purchase and buy her products. Okay. So she did some type of PR thing, put it out there on a lighter note. We're able to ship out most of our previously ordered Mother's Day sets, yada, yada, woo, woo. Okay, cool, whatever. When it's all said and done, what I want to know is would y'all shop? At a person who talks to two elderly women walking in a parking lot. I don't care what you thought they was there for. There's a way to conduct yourself. Would y'all shot with a woman that talks to elderly people in this manner? Take a look one more time at her behavior. reality tv these weird ass youtube bitches be trying to come to people fucking establishment being weird recording this shit like ain't nobody got time for that dumb ass shit her name the fucking black titanic bitch that shit is weird you get shot the fuck up doing dumb shit like that get your ass in your car bitch Why beat your motherfucking ass i don't ever play with me bitch
Like, this shit crazy. Like, this shit ain't even normal. This shit is fucking weird. That's some stalker shit. Like, why would they do that? I am gonna go inside. I'm remember, you know that shit weird as fuck. I'm glad I'm like, motherfuckers at work, and then you got motherfuckers coming. Cause they don't see you on TV trying to come in your shit, recording this shit, being weird. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Yeah, her own last. Now nah, the bitch ain't got no teeth. Man, that shit just made me so fucking mad. I swear to God, y'all get ridiculous. Man, fuck a TV show. For real. For real. Like, the bitch is over there, literally. Well, I locked this door. You locked the door? Yeah. And she's still in the fucking parking lot. Okay. It's okay. Like, why, why do that? Down there. Like, why you do that? You have to let people be idiots. She's too old for that. She is. She is. But don't, don't bring yourself down to her. I can't home. do it because I'm, I'm a little bit of a time. Fucking shit, these bitches talk about me all like every fucking day. I know. And he want to show up to my shit. All they fucking do is talk about me. They're not out here doing it. You cannot allow them to Period. Is she gone? quick so these two you know we're so perfect and we're so in love and we have all this money and we're spending and the diamonds and the this and the filters and the kids and everything and then when the shit goes sideways you invited us in when it was going good and it looked like a fairy tale or made us believe it was well guess what we're got we're coming out with you too so no one's gonna respect your privacy at this time because there is no privacy at this time and i just i think i get particularly lit when people spend what they don't have it's like up the whole system. It's like f with the IRS. All right, y'all. Y'all seen this witch. Would y'all shop with her? Would y'all buy anything from a person that behaves in this manner? That is that unstable? I'm just wondering because I know I wouldn't. I will find another brand to purchase my products from and you know what's crazy is I actually heard that her products are great I heard that they're good but I wouldn't spend my money with someone that is this disrespectful that behaves in this manner who who they co-sign their mother arguing with somebody or talking about or having beef with somebody two times younger than them then she cussing and fussing and calling an older lady B's and, and H's, okay? Because they in the parking lot and she think that they might record her place even though she a public figure. I wouldn't spend one penny with a person like that. Would y'all? Because I know I wouldn't. No way, Jose. You don't deserve my money. You don't deserve the money of anybody to have any kind of upstanding class because what, what, what you did was ridiculous. And yes, I'm reading you again because I think you are a low life scum bucket for sure. So anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think, please, about what I said in the beginning of the video. Do y'all think Melody is going to stay? Y'all think she's going to leave? Y'all tell me what y'all think about this whole plan i think to kind of ice mama van out and not put her on the shows because they don't have uncle wanda on the shows and they wanted to tell on herself when she was saying that stuff earlier in her youtube videos and also last but not least y'all tell me what y'all think about this mess with stormy do y'all think that she was out of line for talking to this woman in that manner do y'all think she was lying her ass off in her PR statement that she put out talking about the lady was peeking in her window when I showed y'all the video of her walking in the parking lot? Y'all put your thoughts and comments down in, the, in my comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
and I'll see all you guys in the next video. Bye. What's up with you?